In this tutorial, we will learn the necessary steps to mill and finish in Corus TZI full contour zirconia restorations with Serona InLab. This revolutionary material provides highly translucent zirconia restorations with the ease and precision of the Serona InLab family of products. You can start your case with an acquisition from your Enios Blue scanner or a digital impression received from Ceric Connect. Under Restoration, choose Bridge Mode. This mode is required to maintain adequate minimal thickness as prescribed by this product. Under Select Material, choose Serona and Chorus TZI. Click OK. Make any changes to your parameters at this time. Mark margins with the Automatic Margin Finder. With your design complete, proceed to the Milling Preview. Choose Serona and Chorus TZI and select Block Size. InCourse TZI is available in block sizes 2019 and 4019. Depending on your system configuration, either scan the block with the manual barcode scanner or insert block into the milling unit to use the internal barcode scanner. This will provide the milling unit with shrinkage factor information unique to the block selected. After the milling process and prior to centering, a diamond burr milling tool has to be used to separate the restoration. The restoration will need to be dried prior to the coloring stage in order to prevent inconsistencies in the color step. This can be done using a conventional veneering furnace. In doing so, please use the following settings. Serona has a unique coloring solution that is designed to provide proper color intensity in just five minutes. Clean the restoration lightly to make sure there is no loose dust on the unit. Cleaning can be done with a brush and compressed air or with an ultrasonic bath. To color the restoration, use a glass vessel in which the milled restoration can be fully submerged into the coloring solution. Allow the restoration to absorb the coloring solution for at least 5 minutes. There is no risk of oversaturation should the restoration stay in the solution over the recommended time of 5 minutes. Remove the restoration from the glass vessel using a pair of plastic tweezers. Roll the end of a tissue and dab to remove the excess liquid. Now place the recently colored restoration onto a non-absorbent surface such as a glass slab for at least 15 minutes. Restorations made from Encores TZI have to be centered in dry conditions. The centering process should only be performed in Serona Infire HTC or Infire HTC Speed with the pre-programmed Encores ZI settings. As an alternative, the centering process can be carried out in the compatible Vita Zircomat or Ivoclar Vivident Centromat high temperature furnace. In either case, the details in the manuals for the respective furnaces are to be adhered to at all times. The centering trays for TZI contain tiny beads. Leave room in the tray for the beads to move freely. These beads are used as rollers to allow the restoration to shrink and move during the centering process. We recommend the following instructions because the correct bead layer is a decisive factor in the fit of the restoration. This is especially true for restorations that are very curved occlusally. Only use the centering trays and beads intended for the respective high temperature furnaces when centering in Corus TZI. Make sure that the restorations are lying completely on the bed of beads. Remove beads lying interdentally with a probe so that shrinking is unhindered. If several restorations are centered at the same time, these must not touch the edge of the centering tray or each other. In order to prevent the centering beads from sticking, such as interdental on the bridge pontic, the restorations must not be pressed or embedded into the centering beads too hard. Position crown and bridge restorations on the occlusal side of the restoration. Very occlusally curved bridges, or on the spees curve, are always to be placed on the buccal or labial side of the restoration so that the center bend of the restoration is lying on the centering beads. Use additional centering beads to support ends of the restoration which have hollow areas. Support every restoration pontic with at least one centering bead so that the bridge restorations are adequately supported along the entire length of the restoration and do not lie hollow. Centering beads that adhere are to be removed carefully. After the centering process, the restorations must be cooled down to room temperature at atmosphere before further processing. Avoid making adjustments to the restoration after centering as this may compromise the integrity of the restoration. 
However, if reworking is necessary, comply with the following basic rules. Reworking in the center condition should be performed with a wet grinding turbine approximately 2.5 to 3 bar or rubber polishers at low speed. As an alternative, it is possible to rework with soft diamond rubber polishers and a handpiece at low speed and low pressure. The tool must be applied flat and must not chatter. New diamond burrs with varied grain size should be used if possible. Areas that are under tension in clinical use should not be ground. This includes connectors and bridge structures. The centered restoration should also be polished prior to applying enamel coating in order to prevent abrasion to the antagonist following potential loss of shine. Encore's TZI can be polished with all standard polishing agents for zirconia ceramics. Here's how the crown should look after polishing. Staining technique for restorations made with Encore's TZI is virtually identical to the PFM method. They can be finalized using all standard paint and gloss colors for zirconia ceramics. Observe each manufacturer's processing instructions at all times. However, due to the relative high opacity of the material, experience has shown us the need to shade the crown a bit darker than the listed prescription. Lighter shades sometimes only require a minor adjustment, while darker shades may need to be stained a full shade darker to achieve the desired final shade. The surfaces of Encore's TZI restorations are so smooth that paste stains are required to achieve the best aesthetics. Powdered stains are not recommended as they yield inconsistent results. Take the gingival stain and drag it over the occlusal table to help lower the overall value of the crown. On the cusp tips, we add a blue-violet mix to give the illusion of translucency. Add occlusal stain only to the major developmental grooves. Once you are satisfied with the result, place the restoration under a porcelain furnace to dry. The final restoration will exhibit a high gloss finish. Congratulations, you have now completed all necessary steps to design, mill, and finish an Encoris TZI restoration using your Serona InLab system.